Peace be to you. Today we reflect the parable of the unfaithful tenants. When we start reflecting on this beautiful parable, we must put ourselves into the parable to the extent that we are also the tenants. We are given the responsibility of taking care of the soul of every human being individually. And we are also given the responsibility of the world and the church. As Christians, we are given the responsibility of the soul. We are called to have this soul pure and intact. Making the soul often to be purified. Allowing the confessionals to go through our soul and make our lives pure. But when God comes and asks for the fruit from this soul that he himself happily embedded in our lives, we respond in a different way as that of the unfaithful tenants. We stop going to the church, we stop reading Bible, we comment on so many people, we comment on so many happenings, but never, never think of our own responsibility of taking care of the soul. We never like to give good fruits, but rather we respond in a different way. Similarly, the world is given to us, as Pope Benedict XVI says, we pray to our mother, blessed mother, we live in this world, veil of tears, and we would like to make this veil of tears into the joyful city of God. This world has to become a joyful city of God and that is the vocation that we have received. How do we respond to this? By words and deeds. We are supposed to make this world beautiful. Do we make this world beautiful? The third responsibility was that the church. How do we respond as members of the church to the spiritual demands of the church? When bishops and priests, church leaders ask for demands of the spiritual things and assignments, we respond in a different manner. We comment on them with the destructive or negative comments. We would like to destroy the church by our negative comments. Let us in a special way examine ourselves. If the Lord comes and asks, give your fruits. Our sense is servants to collect the fruits from the land that we have leased from the Lord, how we are going to respond. Heavenly Father, we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. Be with us, Lord. Strengthen us, heal us, Lord. We are the tenants. Send your Holy Spirit to be the good tenants of your vineyard. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.